The Bible is the mark of the beast. Now I want to show you a trick that Satan's playing on people nowadays. He's getting messages from the other side. You see, he gets people like uh, when Jesus was being tempted by the devil. The devil would show him. He took him out in a moment of time and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And he said, if you'll worship me, I'll give you all these. We see what he's doing today. He's getting desperate because end time's coming. And the Holy Ghost is coming back upon some of God's people. See, the voice hadn't been heard in years until this message come along that the Bible's the mark of the beast. And now he takes people out the other side, Satan does, and sends them back and they tell about what they've seen, you know. And so this ain't the way the gospel's preached. Jesus fills you with the Holy Ghost and you live by faith. He don't take you over and show you the world and you come back and preach. You preach by the Holy Ghost. You got God in you. That's the way it's preached. See, these preach this one preacher went to hell. Now, who do you want? Who who would you want somebody that, that been to hell to preach to you? He come back. He'd been in hell. I think he started a Methodist church or joined some big old big old dumb church, and he was telling about going to hell, how they took him to hell and everything. Well, you see, that's just a big uh, lie of Satan, because. Remember this. Let me let me show you something here. This is very plain. It's appointed unto man wants to die. And then it says, Men wants to die, but after this the judgment. So you see, this uh, this man never been through judgment. How could he come back and say that he knew all about it? He hadn't even been judged. He ain't been judged yet. You see, when you when see the, the great and the small stood before God. And they stood there for judgment. Even the sea gave up their dead. The whole Everybody stands before God for judgment. This man that built these churches, the Methodist churches and all them places, he hadn't been to judgment. See, these people that go over and get these messages, they haven't been through judgment. I've talked to spirits on the other side. They hide out. They don't want to go to judgment. I tell them, go to the light. They don't want to go to the light. Why? Because judgment. See, when a person comes back and says, I've been through judgment, none of them have been through judgment. If you've been to your judgment, then you're judged for heaven or hell. So you see, don't pay no attention to these devils that goes out. Satan takes them out there. He's, he's getting desperate now. Do you see where the Pope's in Manila? Six million people gathered around the Pope. Now can you imagine that? Six million. Now most of his priests are in jail for uh, harming little children. That's a horrible, horrible church. How can people be that deceived? See, Satan is deceiving you. People don't get the Holy Ghost. So what he does, he gets them and takes them out there and shows them some things. And then they come back and they tell you all these great things. Like this one little old boy went out and said to heaven, his daddy was a preacher, you know, some kind of Pentecostal or something. I don't remember what he was. But he come back telling all about heaven and then he told he lied. See, they're lying to you. They are lying to you. And listen to me, the gospel is preached with Holy Ghost people, just like myself. It's not preached with people going out there, Satan taking them out there and showing them something. Coming back, it's not preached that way. See, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body. According to that, he has done whether he be good or bad. See, these people ain't been to judgment. They come back. You don't know if they're a devil or a saint. They ain't preaching with the Holy Ghost. They're preaching about what Satan took them out in the vision and showed them. So don't take these messages from the other side. You see, you get these messages from the other side, and that's the devil. He took Jesus out there and showed him all them great things. He'd give him all of them if he would worship him. That's not the way the gospel's preached. The gospel is preached with the Holy Ghost sent down, and God will tell you, just like he told me, this is the first time this word's been spoken in history. This is the mark of the beast. They get you in this, and Satan's losing power in this, because I've been preaching that this is the, an idol. He's losing power. So he's taking people out there in the spirit and giving them a message and sending them back down here to preach. And so it's a, it's a great, one of the greatest tricks. He's getting desperate now. Getting very, very desperate. They've never been to judgment. I, I've seen people, they don't want to go to the lot. They said, don't send me to the lot. They don't want to go to judgment. See, these people that go over there and come back, they've never been to judgment. They haven't been through judgment. So how can they say what God says, what... They haven't even been judged. So Jesus took the book out of the Father's hand and started a war here on earth. He's the only one that could fight a war because he's the only one that was righteous. 
And then he started a war. Now it's a war against Holy Ghost people and the devil's people. And now the devil's getting desperate because these words are coming out that the Bible is the mark of the beast and it's an idol. And now he's taking people over there into the spirit world and showing them things and sending them back as his ministers. They're, they're joining up with these big churches. They got testimonies. They go around and get big crowds. And like the Pope over there getting six million people. There's a, a man that they've harmed more people than anybody on earth. And he gets six million people. Satan is getting desperate. He is getting very desperate. The world is in darkness now. And remember, these people that come back, ask them, say, did you go through judgment? See, then when a person goes through judgment, say you've seen this old so man that come back at told all over America he went to hell. What if he just said, I went before God and he told me I was going to hell? Then you wouldn't want to listen to him. But if he goes to hell and comes back, you'll listen to a person who went to hell. <laughs> that amazes me how dumb people are. They're so dumb, they'll follow a man that went to hell and come back. Got him a Bible. Now this makes him a Christian. A Bible don't make you a Christian. Holy Ghost makes you a Christian. Got him a Bible and started preaching. Got great congregation. Now, like the Pope over there. Six million people around him, and he's got all his priests are in jail for harming little children. It's a horrible church, and then people will believe that. It amazes me how people believe. The gospel is preached with the Holy Ghost. This is the way God chose to do it, by faith. You don't get to see it. You get to live it by faith. God gives you visions, dreams, and revelations, and I've been over into the spirit world to see things and and I've seen Bible worshipers over there. They're not with Jesus. Believe me, they're not with him. They're waiting on judgment. They preach the wrong gospel. They preach that the, a, a book is the word of God. Well, that's a lie. God's his own word. He's, he lives in these temples. And God speaks through us. And I'm telling you, don't pay no attention to these people that go over there and come back. They haven't been through judgment. You don't know if they're God or not. They ain't got the Holy Ghost. All they got is the Bible. So pay attention to those Holy Ghost people. Don't be fooled by all these people that's been to hell. Why do you want to follow somebody that's been to hell? <laughs> that don't make no sense. And then these people that go to heaven, then they back up later and say that they didn't go. And so, don't believe these things. Only believe it like God says. God poured out His Holy Ghost upon us. That is the new covenant. The New Testament is Jesus' blood. We do it by faith, by grace, by faith. Now, I've seen over there, and I've seen these spirits, and I know they don't want to go to judgment. These people that comes back, and tells you all these things have not been to judgment. When they go to judgment, then they go to hell. Hell and death delivered up the dead. Hell and death delivered up the dead. That man been to hell one time, he'll be delivered up. Hell and death will give up the dead. They'll stand before God and they'll be cast in the lake of fire. These people don't go by grace. They don't go by faith. You're not saved by somebody that got a vision out there somewhere where the devil took him out and showed him something. You're not saved by that. You're saved by the grace of God through faith. And it's by the Holy Ghost. You listen to what this Son of God's telling you. These people's fooling you. The devil's getting desperate because truth is coming out now. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Thank you, Jesus, for faith. And thank you for the grace that saves us.